All right, so here we go. Um, I've made a class called API key, which just has a function that's going to return the API key because I don't want to publish my API key to everyone. I've made a class called main, which has a simple call to uh, a, a weather. Uh, let me adjust the, the volume on a few things here so I'm not having music blaring in the background. Um, so this is just going to make a call to a function called do HTTP get, which I have not yet made. Um, so for the sake of argument, let's just do uh, public static static void do HTTP get. Cool. And so I haven't added in Maven support yet, so I'm going to do that real quick. Uh, so come in here, do Maven. So that's all set up. Uh, and I'm going to add in my dependencies. Cool. Um, and I can change the name of this, but it doesn't matter. Be sure to come down here and click Enable Auto Import on the bottom right here. Um, that's just going to make your life a lot easier. Um, so now in a new uh, tab here, we're going to go to Maven Central, if I can type. So in Maven Central, we're going to search for HTTP client. And it's going to be... Oh, I put a space. Shouldn't be a space. Um, so it's going to be the top one by uh, Apache. So you're going to click latest version, and you're just going to grab the uh, Maven dependency from over here on the left. And we can just close this. Uh, so that's going to get plopped right into our dependencies, and we can delete all that crap. Now it should auto-resolve. There we go. It looks like it did. And so then I can just come over here into weather.java and I can uh, take that call. So the call that we were looking at uh, has, has my API key in it. So I'm going to edit that off screen real quick. Um, there we go. So it's going to look like this. That's what we need to get. Um, so remember that this right here, um, so I'm going to just make a different line real quick. And so this is the, the city ID that we got from uh, a, dip, a call to a different API. Um, so, okay, so this right here is the call that we need to do. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say um, string uh, URL equals um, and then we're going to grab all this, and I'm going to get rid of, oh, right, yeah, that's not, okay, so we're going to get rid of that, and we're going to put this into quotation marks because it's a string, and then we're going to do plus, uh, and I think I did API key dot something, get API key. Yeah, okay, so that's going to be the URL that we need to open. So now we need to make an HTTP client. So we can do HTTP client, um, and you'll see that it actually imported the entirely wrong thing. Um, so that shouldn't have happened. Um, so it does say that there's, there's multiple choices on which one I can do. So I want to do the uh, Apache one and not the random sun one. Um, so we're going to call it client equals new def... Uh... Oh wait, I feel like they changed this recently. Didn't they change it to like closable HTTP client or something like that? Yeah, yeah, they did. It's a closable HTTP client. There we go. Equals new, uh, and I think that you do... Uh, HTTP clients dot d create default, right? It's been a long time since I've had to do this, but I think that that's how it is, right? Cannot resolve my symbol. Yeah, it looks right. Pretty sure. Um, concerns me that it's not finding that 
Okay, hang on. Let me try this. Dot create. How can you show me the Java docs and then tell me that you don't have it? You. That's. That's this thing fucking up. That's not me, I don't think. Right? Uh, so if I go here, run main just to see if it fucking compiles or if I did something absolutely ridiculous over there. Oh, it's because I can't run it. No, it can't find symbol. What the fuck am I? Oh, because it's not new. It's not how you instantiate it because it's, yeah. Okay, so that was me being dumb. Um, okay, so yeah, continuing on. Uh, what we need to do now is uh, just do a simple HTTP get. So we're just going to do HTTP get, uh, and we're just going to call it get equals new uh, HTTP get, and this is just going to go to URL. Okay, and so this is complaining because we haven't imported the, the class to do it, so that's fine now after we import the class. Um, oh, and we can get rid of the unused import. Um, all right, so after that, um, I think we need to do the response, right? So it's going to be uh, closable, which is a really weird word. Um, HTTP response, e uh, resp equals new, HTTP, or do you do? No, it's uh, equals HTTP, or no, it's just, I called it client. Client.execute get. There we go. Um, and this might bitch because, yeah, there's an unhandled exception. So we have to put this whole thing into a try catch block. So we're going to do try. We'll come down a little bit. We'll do catch, um, IO, oops, IO exception, IOE, and then do, uh, so in the event that it, it has an IO exception, can't read the website, it can't do something, you have to catch the, the error. Um, so we'll say system.er.println, um, something went wrong, getting the weather, and then to sort of say what it is, you'll do ioe.printStackTrace. Um, and just because there's going to be a few other things, I'm just going to put a generic catch in here too, and just do uh, the same thing, um, where I kind of do system.er.println, and say uh, unknown error and uh, e dot print stack trace. Okay, so um, then we need to do so try catch finally. Um, yeah, I should do it like this so I don't accidentally leak. Um, so we should do it like this and set it equal to null. And then we'll do like that. And then we can do down here, finally, uh, rest.close. Um, really, it's in the... We... Oh, that's so annoying. You know what, I'm not even going to bother. Just when you open up one of those, be sure to close it inside a try-catch block. Or you can just make this whole fucking thing throw an I.O. exception if you want, but then you have to catch it in your main, and that's a pain in the ass. So anyways, that, that doesn't actually matter all that much. Um, from there, we're going to... I actually forget how this works. Uh, I think it's like you just do like entity. Um, yeah, you set it equal to an entity, but I can't remember the exact way to do that. It's, um, I think you do like a string entity. Yeah, there we go. Um, equals, and you set that equal to the response entity. 
Let me let me check the uh, uh, the documentation real quick. It has been a while since I've I've done this. HTTP client Java Apache Commons. Uh, quick start. All right, so entity is ah response dot get entity. Okay, that's yeah. So I wasn't really close with that. Um, HTTP entity equal and name it entity equals uh, resp dot get entity, and then we should be able to. Let's see. Um, so we have to do something with it. So in this case, I'll probably just string it. Um, so system dot out dot printlin. Um, JSON response, and then on a new line, I'll just kind of do like entity dot two string and see what happens. Um, I actually don't know uh, the the way that entity is made up, so I'm actually going to throw a, a quick breakpoint in here, um, so I'll be able to check out what's actually in entity. But this should, in theory, run, um, and and we'll check to see how it goes. Um, so we run this, and all right. So that's not at all what I was looking for. Um, that just means that there is an object. So we can come in here, run debug. Let me move that back a line because obviously it's not going to hit the closing brace. Um, okay, so the response should be in here somewhere. Uh, should be an entity, not in client. So uh, the entity has response wrapped entity uh, content input stream. I'm pretty sure that there's a, a better way to get it out of there because the buffer should have some stuff. Let me um, let me pull this back up real quick, just because this that that seems like I shouldn't have to dive that deep in there. Um, I do feel like I've I've kind of done this a bit easier in the past. So if I'm going to uh, I'm going to close Insomnia first things first. Um, but if I look in here, I would expect to see. Um, so if we come into like response handling, um, okay, so there's an entity, entity utils dot two string. Oh, great. So yeah, just a random thing that you'd have no idea to know that it's a, a thing because the two string doesn't work. Uh, utils dot two string entity. All right, and then if I run this, I feel fairly confident that this should get me what I'm after. Some classes changed, that's fine. And yeah, here we go. Um, here's all the stuff that we were after. Um, so yeah, that's uh, how you do a simple HTTP get. Um, so like, you know, it looks like tomorrow, uh, the, the or today's date, it's 39. Uh, overnight, it's going to be pretty cold. It sounds like it's going to be about 30 or, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I'm not 100% I'm not familiar with this. It looks like it's uh, going to be a high of 57 today and a low of, uh, a low of 39 and a high of 57. Um, and I don't know if they give me the current anywhere in here, but yeah, you can, you can familiarize yourself more with the, the JSON response, um, and, and what's in there and how all that works. But yeah, I think that that should be, uh, everything you need to know to get started. I'll, um, I'll shoot this over to you. I can get rid of string entity because that's not being used, but that's, uh, that's all the code it takes. It's like 30-ish lines. Um, so yeah. Let me know if you have any questions. Peace.